Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to Super Make Something, the show where I make something cool and show you how to make it too. Today, we'll be building an Arduino-powered cloud lamp. Let's get started. The cloud lamp is made up of two components, the cloud-shaped lampshade, made out of a paper lantern, and the electronics to light up the lamp. Let's start with the electronics first. The cloud lamp will be lit using a microcontroller and LEDs. One of the most popular microcontrollers today is the Arduino Uno, which can be programmed via USB to execute custom code. For the cloud lamp, this microcontroller is a little big, so we will instead use the Uno's little cousin, the Arduino Pro Mini. The cloud lamp will be lit with Adafruit NeoPixels. NeoPixels are small, addressable RGB LEDs that daisy chain together to make customizable light strips. The first thing to do is to solder on the Pro Mini's programming header. Because this microcontroller does not have a USB port like its bigger cousin, a separate circuit is needed to program. Begin by soldering on the 6-pin header on the far side of the board. This is the complete cloud lamp circuit. Here, the LEDs are connected in parallel, meaning that each LED sees the same voltage drop across its terminals. Begin by attaching pairs of power and ground wires to each NeoPixel. The polarity of the NeoPixel is shown by the plus and minus sign printed on the NeoPixel board. By using different wire lengths for each NeoPixel, it is possible to distribute the LEDs throughout the cloud for even lighting. Next, daisy chain the NeoPixels together by soldering additional wires to the open terminals as shown. This additional wire is used to control the NeoPixels color and brightness. Solder one extra incoming wire to the first NeoPixel in the chain. This wire will be used to connect the NeoPixels to the microcontroller. Each power terminal of a NeoPixel is only large enough to accept one wire. To hook the LEDs up in parallel, it is therefore necessary to use the terminal strip to break out a separate power and ground wire for each NeoPixel. First, solder an incoming wire to the terminal strip. This wire will be connected to the microcontroller. Next, bridge the terminals together using small jumper wires. Repeat these steps for the second terminal strip. Solder each of the NeoPixel's power and ground lines to the corresponding terminal strip. Connect the wire coming off of the ground terminal strip to an open ground port on the microcontroller. Connect the wire coming off of the power terminal strip to the microcontroller's VCC port. Finally, solder the remaining unconnected wire to pin 3 of the microcontroller. When you are done, your circuit should look something like this. Because a cord would ruin the floating cloud illusion, everything is powered using a battery pack. This cloud uses a battery pack that holds four triple A's and has a handy on-off switch built into the case. Solder the black wire to the microcontroller's open ground pin, and solder the red wire to the pin labeled raw. Finally, snip any long wire leads poking out of the terminals on the microcontroller, NeoPixels, or power strip to make sure that nothing can short circuit. When the soldering is done, it's time to program the Arduino. Make sure that the power switch of the battery pack is in the off position, and connect the programming board to the microcontroller headers you soldered earlier. A program, or sketch, to make the NeoPixels flash randomly at different brightnesses can be downloaded by following the link in the video description. Open the Arduino IDE and load the sample sketch. Next, tell the IDE which Arduino you will be programming by selecting the Arduino Pro or Pro Mini 5V 16MHz option under Tools, Board. Finally, click on the arrow in the taskbar at the top of the IDE to send your code to the Arduino. If everything went right, the LEDs should start flashing. Disconnect the programmer from the Arduino and turn on the battery pack to verify that everything works correctly. Congrats Congratulations! The electronics for your cloud lamp are done. Time to construct the lampshade. The main component of the lampshade is a paper lantern that can be purchased from your local craft store. Begin by tracing the outline of a container lid onto a piece of cardboard and cutting the shape out with a pair of scissors. The cardboard will be the base used to mount the electronics from the previous steps inside the lamp. Paper lanterns use a metal bracket to stay in their expanded position. Cut a slot into the cardboard base you just made using an X-Acto knife so that the metal bracket can pass through it once the lantern is expanded. Carefully insert the cardboard into the lantern and glue the electronics in place using hot glue. It may take a little bit of fidgeting to get everything to stay in place, but don't worry if it looks messy. The wiring will be hidden inside of the lamp once everything is assembled. Once the electronics are in place, expand the lantern and insert the metal bracket. Turn on the battery pack and rearrange the LEDs inside the lamp to distribute the lighting evenly. The cloud shape is created by gluing polyester fiber stuffing to the outside of the lampshade. Add as much or little polyester stuffing as you want. If you want to add more stuffing after the entire lantern has been covered, simply weave and additional stuffing into the fiber glued to the lantern with your fingers. Finally, tie a piece of clear nylon string to the top of the metal bracket. This will make it seem as if your cloud is floating in the air. Hang the lamp, find a dark room, and turn on the battery pack. Your own personal thunderstorm should now be raging in your house, courtesy of your very own DIY Arduino-powered cloud lamp. 
Alright guys, that's pretty much it. The nice thing about this cloud lamp is that because it's powered by a microcontroller, it can be expanded with a lot of options, like adding motion sensors, rain sound, and other cool effects. If you don't know how to use those sensors, don't worry, we'll be sure to cover them in an episode. But for now, I guess the only thing left to do is enjoy the rain. See you next time. Now go super make something. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Your support helps me make more videos. To keep up with the latest episodes, click the subscribe button below. You can also check out all of my other videos by clicking on the video to the right and follow me on Twitter at SuperMakeSMTHNG. See you next time. Now go super make something.